Hello, it's Eric from RC Monster Garage with another review for the Arma Limitless uh, speedrun vehicle. They make it look a little bit like a Formula One. Stay tuned, watch the video all the way to the end because we're gonna have a couple bonuses inside. We're gonna compare it with other Arma vehicles and with actually with one of the FG Formula One vehicle to see how similar and different sizes is gonna be very interesting. But before we go anywhere else, over there, over there, somewhere over here on your YouTube channel, there is a like and subscribe. I don't care, don't like the video. Press the subscribe button. You guys keep watching my videos for free, but never pressing the subscribe button. Press it so you can support our channel so we can make more great video for you guys. Let's start. Big box. Of course, you need exactly like to open them. They're taking them pretty good. This is um, kind of almost ready to run. Uh, you need like I would call it even a kit. Wow, it's beautiful uh, because you need everything for it. They give you here some spare gears and some tools. This is very important. Don't ignore it. I uh, even need to use some of those. And then the car itself is long. It's very long and it's tied down to the bottom. It's actually also taped. And it's have a lot of nylons all over it. It's ridiculous, so much nylon. I'm gonna have to find a way to cut it underneath in order to release it. It's tied down so good, you can actually flip it and it's hard to cut it out. Okay. It's pretty dangerous to open it and try to cut it, so be careful. Let's pull the car out. Move the pieces. So here it is. It's a pretty big long car. This thing is pretty impressive. Uh, it's painted nice. The stickers are not seen in the right way yet. Uh, a little bit heat gun, very gently of course. Uh, we we'll put it or we just put it in the sun and go over it with your fingers. Uh, let's start. See what they got into it. Let's open it up. It's a flat blue color. Uh, very nice, a flat blue color. I really like it. Uh, first thing first, when you get it, I already see what to do, okay? Over here, make holes in there. Take your Dremel tool or Exacto blade and open those up. All three of them. You need to get some heat coming out of the car in order to cool down the inside, especially if you're going to do speed run. This is kind of a must thing to do. And you know what? I'm going to do this real quick. Stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. I'm closing it back. I want to see something. And I will explain what I'm doing right now because it's something I noticed on another vehicle. And I think it just answered a question from my other video for the limit, not for the limit, for the infraction. Okay, when we look at it this way, okay, right now I want to show something. Um, I, I'm not going to address the person that was complaining about it and tell me that I don't know what I'm talking about. In my other video, I was showing that the side of the body in the truck version, in the infraction, uh, were too far out. So the body don't close the car, and it's a big, uh, it's a big air brake when you try to go fast. And some guy was uh, kind of crying about it. I don't know what I'm talking about. And you need to have it open so the air can flow to cool down the engine when the engine is actually here and it's not going to get any of the airflow over there. What they did in this one is perfect. It just closed down on the bottom so you can get maximum speed. This entire car is completely sealed so the air can flow around it. I just wanted to show it real quick. We're gonna go over for the rest of the review, but I just wanted to show it and I'm gonna show the two tracks together, the truck and the speed one car so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So we keep watching the video. Now, in addition, when you look at, at the body right now, um, it would be better to put here a strap of Velcro 
you just close it together uh, it will help you a little bit you know what if you want to get more and more number on your small GPS you want to do that you want to actually close it down here with the Velcro or even with a uh, piece of scotch tape more air can flow around in the car and it will make it faster even if you're gonna get this another half a mile an hour you're gonna be the fastest guy this is the way to do it uh, please listen to me I know what I'm talking about okay let's put it back and go back to the, uh, to the review itself. Um, let's open it back up. So, the body is pretty nice, it's very thick. Um, they got no, I think it's a 2 millimeter body, so pretty durable, pretty strong. Uh, I would recommend you put sliders here so if you crash or flip it. Overall, when you look at the car, Right away you see that uh, this vehicle and the infraction is exactly the same vehicle it looked to be. They just changed the wheels on it and they probably the shocks even if. Now the tires on those exactly the same problem that the other one had. That you can make them very flexible. And when you can do this to the tire right here, if you look right here, very gently I can warp the entire tire. It's not good because the tire will wobble when you go fast. So put GRP tires or if you're not going more than 80 miles an hour, this is good enough for you. It will smoke pretty nice, but for speed run, please don't use those, but use the phone one or anything else. Um, if you have doubt about what I'm saying, there is a guy in the video, put his GoPro right here and you can see the wheels going straight and then they start to wobble like this because they start warping and the car almost got torn apart. Um, Overall, there is nothing here. You have the motor mount right here. I'm gonna take the camera and go around everything to show. Uh, you have here the place to put. They give you already the horn for your servo. Uh, you can store here, and this is designed for Arma servo, so you can change it to whatever you want. It's a uh, kind of sealed, water sealed over here for your receiver, and the same problem that you got with the other vehicle, that everything is on the center shaft are completely loose. And this is something that you have to address. I'm gonna explain also in this video how to do that in case nobody saw my other video. Uh, let me take the camera out of the rack and show you guys this thing from the top. So, yes, I put the body back on it so I can show it all around. And we start opening up and show you what there is all around it. So let's start and focus right here on those wheels. I really like those wheels again, though they're nice design. They should have been just stiffer on the inside because they are too soft. And this is why I mean by soft. Okay, I can warp the tire all the way in and it means that the top over here going up and you can see how it's warping. This is not a good thing. Uh, this is why I'm saying that you need to change those to GRP, uh, FH, whatever you have. Don't run those if you want to get good results for speed. They cool for smoke, not for what you think that you want to do with the kind of car. Uh, you got here the front fins. Uh, you're gonna need to probably cut those a little bit. Those are gonna be right now for you, total air brake. This will slow down your car. It's not gonna give you any downforce or anything. Uh, you have to cut those. Look online what other people did, how they end up cutting those and what result they got because this is kind of something that is super hard to calculate. How much drag you're going to get on your vehicle, but this is like a wall in front of you. If, like, if the entire car here is aerodynamic, is perfect, suddenly you have here like a parachute that will slow you down. So please pay attention to this, this is a must uh, thing to do to fix. Um, looking at the shocks. Coilover shocks, they are aluminum nice coilover shock, uh, filled with oil, the heavier inside the sway bar is eating right there, it's the chrome piece over there, it's the sway bar, it's pretty nice, if you can see here the car is completely sealed, so you can go as fast as you want uh, without worrying about aerodynamic value. Speaking about aerodynamic value, uh, if anybody will come with a body that will cover the front end covering the wheel go sharp side to side this vehicle will go much faster 
Uh, the fact that the wheels are exposed, it's a lot of drag for the airflow on it, and it's slowing the, the vehicle pretty, pretty bad. Um, let's open it up to see what's going on inside. Okay, so, first thing first, receiver. There is a place here for your receiver. Uh, depending on what receiver you're going to go with, uh, you can open it up. There's only like four screws and you can put it and it's completely water sealed. There is a big box here that you can put your uh, brushless EAC. Uh, stay tuned to the video because I'm going to show options for motor and EACs that can go inside here and give you a little bit idea. Now right here, this small little guy, this is the arm for your servo. Uh, you can change it if you want to something else from aluminum. Uh, this is the one that usually come in with all the arm mics can be pretty okay I would say. Uh, you have here the servo mount, four screws servo mount, very easy to actually just install the servo. Now, going over here, we're gonna have the sliding motor mount so it's very easy to pull your motor out and to do all the adjustments when needed. You already have inside a metal gear uh, and it's pretty small so you can go fast so I don't know why some people are going to run 32, 34, it's all depending on what you want to do and what size motor you're going to use. If you're going to use big motor what you're going to have to do is actually put a motor mount instead of here right there because there's not enough place over here and then you can run a bigger motor maybe a 1 -fifth scale motor on it and I'm going to show an option later but you're going to have to remove this tray and move it somewhere else or to the other side but then it's ruined a little bit the, the entire balance of the car center of gravity is here kind of putting it left and right up down so it's kind of something that you have to calculate rear shocks and shock towers uh, metal shock towers aluminum shocks pretty nice very simple design very very simple design minimal parts but again I'm going back to problem that I saw in the other vehicle right there this part look how much it's moving this is a lot of movement a lot a lot of movement you have the same here and those are the annoying noise that you hear when your car is running the remedy to be fix this is to remove this entire center diff area take it out completely put here and put also in the inside a small piece of uh, fuel tubing from your nitro vehicle or even any small o-ring that you can fit inside of those these tiny o-rings to fit you need to do one here one there one here and one all the way inside there in order to prevent this movement your car will run a little bit more quiet this still work good but in a you know case of the body warp this will just bend and fly off and then you have to wait until you're gonna find it back or get a new one. They already put on the top here the center uh, spar to make the vehicle stiffer. It's not a vehicle that jumps, so I don't think it's really necessary, but it's cool that they did that. I know a lot of you guys already gone to hot racing and bought this upgrade piece for here. It's not really necessary. It's uh it's kind of a waste of money for you. It's look cool, but it's too expensive. Invest it in better, stronger motor. If you want to make it faster, this will not make it any faster. Um, now, when you look on the back, this diffuser really look nice from the back. I have to say, with the rear fin and everything, it looks really, really nice. They have the small rudders that they have over here, and this how it looks from the back. They even make here the brake light supposed to be a red light inside, so when you brake in a real Formula One, you can see it. Overall, this vehicle is very simple and very, very nice. And what we're going to do next, I'm just going to show a couple options of what you can put in it. And we're going to go from there. It's going to be kind of like the second part of this uh, review. It's kind of going to be from a review to how to. So stay tuned. I'm just going to go grab some stuff and come back. Yeah, I am back. And this is part two of this video. Uh, what to put, how to put, and where to put it. So let's start with a motor. Um, you can put a Poseidon motor, um, they're inexpensive and they're very very good. And this Poseidon that we have right now here is uh, 1512 and it's a 6S. And this motor will fit here and you will have extra space. 
Uh, so this thing can work perfect and then you're just gonna of course slot it to your EAC. Depend what EAC you're gonna use. I highly recommend to use a Castle Creation 200 amp or bigger if you're gonna go faster. If you on a budget you can use even the RMI if you have any of the previous armor vehicle. Any of the BLX 185 will work for this or if you have the BLX 200 will work for it even better. So this is the motor Poseidon. Uh, this one is a new version that they actually open so they can get cooled down. So it's a little bit better I'm thinking. So all you need to do, set up the motor, put the gear, set up your ESC and you're good to go with this. Now, servo. The servo is right there. You need to see it right there. You got a little bit of angle just so I can show it better. Over there I recommend this. You can put any servo you want to be honest. 25 kilogram. This is uh, X Flight. They're not so expensive, but they are digital servos. They're pretty fast, and you're not gonna have any problem with it. You don't want to put a super fast servo because you don't want your wheel to do this. You want it when you do speed run. You want to limit the amount of movement. Be careful for the wheel, so you're not gonna go too fast and crash. So this is something very important to do. So this is your servo that you're gonna need to use now. Talking about the motor, let's flip it back real quick. Talking about this motor, when you're gonna do a speed run, and you're gonna plug this right there, and you're gonna have everything set up. Super important, you have to put a fan over those motors. I cannot emphasize more how important it is because those motors on a speed run, they are getting so hot that the motor inside, the magnet, gonna lose from their power if they get overheated, and then you're gonna fight your motor. So try to put here a big fan if you have those 6 volt fan or if you have a separate 12 volt fan that you can put over here. It's very important also on the EAC to put a fan. Uh, you can get from Castle Creation, you have a fan with the housing that you will sit right on top of those motors and it's work just perfect. Um, now I'm going to show another option that I think that it's doable. It all depends how much money you want to spend on your RC vehicle and if you're crazy enough okay so this is how it's go one six scale motor actually one seven for one seven it's one eight to one seven uh, scale motor one fifth scale motor this will never fit here never yes not not gonna fit but if you will remove this completely then this could sit right there. You just need to get a motor mount, make a couple hole over here on the side, and you can run this motor on a six or eight cell, and this will just fly this way. So if you did not think about something crazy like this, again, one eight scale, one seven scale, one fifth scale. You can use those motors. Uh, they are big and they're gonna make it fast. If you don't think that uh, it will work, don't do that, but I will definitely want to try it. Um, this was one part of crazy stuff that I think that you can do with this vehicle. Uh, remote. Uh, please use a good remote on this. Uh, use one of the one of the Ryzen Hobby or any other brand that a good quality, the 5 channel uh, remote, so you get a longer range. The remote that I recommend to use is the Spectrum 5. I'm trying to see where where it disappeared. It was right here. This guy. You're gonna want to use this type of a remote, computerized 5 channel so you can set up uh, ABS and other options. Additional, very important. Um, if you're new to the RC, even if you don't think you know what you do, okay? A lot of you guys that I see by the response that I'm getting think that you know what you're doing. If you think that you can go and run this car without balancing the wheel, big mistake. You can run it, it will wobble like crazy. The reason is because those wheels need to set up on something like that. This is a wheel balancer. You're gonna put your wheels on it, and you're gonna turn it and then you're gonna balance the wheel, the weight of the wheel. I'm gonna show real quick what I mean and we're gonna go from there. 
I already have one wheel here. I'm just gonna grab it real quick. This is the wheel and tire balancer, okay? So now there is a tire that not glue correct and it's on purpose just to show how this thing works. So you're gonna put your tire and you're gonna turn it. And you're gonna see where the tire is gonna stop and how much it's gonna go back. Then you have to figure out what is the heaviest spot and mark it and then go to the other side and put a little bit of clay that they give you. You can see the clay right here. It's this white piece inside. And this is what you balance the wheel with. Uh, you need to watch the video about how to balance the wheels. You see how this is wobbly? This is completely wobbled and used to be completely off balance. It, now the wheel is balanced totally, but the wheel is all crooked just to teach people how to do it the right way. So I have a couple of those in my shop that you can actually see that they are going to be, no matter where you leave them, see it's going to go back where the weight is, it's going to always try to go back to the point with the weight. You have to set it up so while you're turning the wheel, it's never, never moving. See, it's moving a little bit and then it stops. It needs to be 100% balanced. When you have a balanced wheel, they're not going to wobble, they're not going to go crazy on you. This is super important. So you have four wheels that you need to balance. You need to do this with a balancing clay. There is the dynamite. Uh, this is a dynamite. You can get those or you can get any of them. I have those you can get. This is uh, a different brand. Uh, this is one of the cheaper ones. And the thing is that they're not so straight. So if you get the one, either your Amazon, look on the front here how wobbly it is. I bought one of those just to show how messed up they are. They were cheap, but they're not really working. Um, this is for this vehicle, what you can do with it. You can do with it whatever you want also, because this is your hobby. You determine what you're gonna do, how you're gonna do it, and when you're gonna do it. Now, I'm gonna do another comparison. Stay tuned, compare this thing actually with the uh, other vehicle that came with it. So we're gonna do a limitless versus the infraction. Just, just to show a little bit what the difference. And then I'm gonna compare this with the uh, FG Formula One. So you're gonna see like how close they are. So we are the last part of this review. I wanted kind of to compare it with two other vehicle. Um, so we have here, of course, the infraction and we have the limitless and Let's see what there is underneath it when you open both of them. How they look because it's exactly the same vehicle. I think it's look exactly the same when you take the bodies and there's a couple other pieces of plastic in both of them. So let's take this out. Take that out. You can actually put this on that if you want. Okay, so to start with. When you look first glance, wheelbase, exactly the same, the same frame, same parts, it's exactly the same vehicle. The only difference that they have over here, you have the diffuser only, and over here you have the diffuser with the two rudders left, rudder, right rudder, and you're gonna have the, the fin on the back. Okay, I bet that's it. Um, overall link and everything, exactly the same. This vehicle, it's about uh, $599, and those are, they are, I think around like the $400, $399, depending where you're getting them. Um, this comes with everything inside. They already pre-installed the motor, the ESC, the remote, you come with a Spectrum remote, versus absolutely nothing, but you can do whatever you want on it. Um, when you look at the tires, the tires are exactly the same. They just change a little bit the wheels, so if you spread it sideways, these wheels they have the holes in it and this one is kind of a dish style. It's not really change anything, it's, they're both too, they're way, way too, too thin and they're both moving too much and need to get balanced. Also, over here if you got one of those, don't forget to put a fan on it, it's really need that. Uh, it's going to help keep the, the vehicle. The mount are over it, the body mount here is on the front versus the small pin over here they're just holding the formula one style body so it's going to be right here on this vehicle if it was there and then the rear mount one is on the back and the other one they're just here on the lower section so what they did they just put it on the on the shock towers on the back they just put another two two uh, body mount post they just mount over here so you can remove this and change change the body change whatever you want to do but overall 
it's exactly the same vehicle this is just a ready to run version and this is like the kit or almost ready to run whatever you want to call it um, also this thing here on the on the bottom and that it's exactly the same material they're gonna be I think a little bit fragile because it's it's feel like a PTG material so it's probably gonna break easily so when you break it um, try to get a piece of Lexan from the store for like three dollar and just cut it and make it yourself it's, it will be cheaper um, overall very cool vehicle exactly the same everything in them is exactly the same vehicle they have the same problem with uh with the loose bonds over here that need to get addressed De definitely worth the money it's like the, the price is, is very low on those i think it's worth the money to, to get those vehicles anyway now what i'm going to do i'm going to show you a formula one and compare with this one and see like how cool this vehicle looks compared to fg formula one Okay, so this is our last part of this review for the Limitless and I just wanted to show it together in comparison to a Formula 1, uh, this is actually an FG Formula 1, uh, it's uh, actually 28 to 29cc uh, gasoline engine versus the brushless electric. So the Limitless is going to be much faster, the brushless electric developing huge amount of power uh, compared to what the regular gasoline two-stroke engine developing. That being said, this can get converted to a um, brushless motor and it will go much faster. It's going to cost fortune to do that. So it's much better to stick to the small one. That it's actually also easier to run anywhere else you want. This vehicle is so low to the ground. It's, it's almost have like a quarter inch clearance on the bottom. You have, this, you have the smoothest road in the world to run. Um, let's go a little bit around it just so you guys can see the size comparison of it it's much 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 bigger and when you open it inside it's have a regular gasoline engine versus a brushless electric and if you look here look at the tire size comparison now those are very stiff tire they're very strong if you remember what I was mentioning how strong tires are you press those and you cannot even move them versus you press those and you can warp the entire thing away um, so this was the last part of my video don't forget to like and subscribe uh, if you have any question please ask don't worry about it just ask what you need to know if I missed anything on my video uh, just let me know and I will be more than happy to answer it uh, if you like to complain don't forget on the comments below uh, you can complain as much as you want people are gonna go to your channel and see what you did what you are donating to their hobby and Slam against you back. Don't forget people do that including me. Uh, see you on my next video Eric at RC Monster Garage uh, This was a review for the Arma Limitless how-to and comparison. See you. Goodbye